Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry, I thought you were doing something else. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And we are here for another Cricket, Cricket Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, oh, man, you know what? It's been so long. It's no lag. Time to no retire. <laughs> that was the best one yet. This is our last one ever. Go out on top. So, what are we checking out today, Mr. Gabe? Well, by popular demand. All oh. right, they keep telling us, you guys love tests, you have to do the Ashes. So, we're going to be looking at the 2005 Ashes. 2005 Ashes. I tell you what, we saw a little bit about the Ashes, or learned a little bit about the Ashes in um, the, the test, right, on Amazon. And I believe in that Ashes... England retained the Ashes, right? Um, against um, um, Australia? Yes. No, I, no. Australia retained it. Oh, no. Australia, Australia retained, retained the Ashes but lost the, 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 yeah, the, 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 series. the series. Yeah. But, uh, um, you know, the Ashes is huge. And I, Nick did a little bit of in, uh, research on England as a team. And then we did the, um, the history of cricket. And we, you know, did a little re research on the Ashes. What's this Ashes? Well, it's a little bit, bitty, bitty trophy like this. Nick, let them know. Let, tell them what we found out thus far. So we found out also, we learned a lot about the Ashes in our Lindor video too, where he was being uh, hosted around by that cricketer where basically there was a match where England either got stomped on or they just lost to Australia. And they, someone wrote in the newspaper, like, <laughs> the day cricket died, the day cricket in, died England. in England. You might as well just throw, throw that trophy and burn it all up. <laughs> Or the ball, burn it all up, and just put it. It's called the Ashes. It's over. It's done. And so that's where the name came from. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I love that it's not just American media, too, that <laughs> a, 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 that's so hard on their athletes and whole, so hard on their sports. Because they, they took it to heart. Like, that's it. You know, cricket died in England that day. Like, wow, is that serious? You know, they lost to Australia, so Calm it's that down, bad. Calm down, boy. Calm down. <laughs> now, you mentioned we got a lot of requests for this. None louder or none bigger than our man Azriel, who shows up at just every single stream that we do. If he's awake and we're streaming, for some reason he chooses to hang out with us as we're <laughs> belly aching constantly. We appreciate that and we appreciate your persistence. So this is called Hidden Ashes, first test. Now we know there's a documentary. We're going to get to that later on Cricket for Americans, our other YouTube channel, all about cricket. But we wanted to dedicate the Cricket Tuesday to this first one. And if you guys like it, give us those thumbs up. Let us know in the comments section. Yes, please do the second one and the third one. There's a whole series by this channel. Um, I can't see it right now. Oh, nine Fernando Tor Torres. He's got all five of them, I'm pretty sure. Let us know if you want to check it out. We're going to. But, you know, without any further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Let's go ahead and check it out. I've never seen uh, any of those. Hello players. and welcome to Hidden Ashes, the DVD with a difference, oh, as we really... review the historic events of the summer of 2005 through previously unseen images and camera angles. When we covered the summer for Channel 4, we did so with every ball recorded from 10 different angles. Yup, that is 10 different viewpoints of literally every run and every wicket, the majority of which haven't been seen before. So we've trawled through 150 hours of footage to bring you the very best of the series through new pictures. And it is an extraordinary drama that unfolds. Let's take you back to Thursday the 21st of July. And remember, England haven't beaten Australia at Lords for 75 years. What? Holy cow! Wow. Did, is that right? 75 years. The teams years. were at full strength. Though Australia won the toss and batted, England made their intentions clear from the second ball of the match. Yeah. Oh! So England you know, the West Indies from 1970. Oh! Headhunter! Oh. Just rub some dirt on it, brother! Look at that! Well! Oh! Bowled oh. oh. out! Perfect delivery, swinging in. Uh, yes. Too good for Matthew That's what my, my, my Barbado Tridents needed today. <laughs> Ooh! Wow. Jeez. Yeah, that's a 
second yeah. time this yeah. morning that Harmison is. Wow! Oh, it's leaking, it's cousin. Ponting right there. there. I was going to say, it's Ricky Ponting, yeah. Oh, he's in Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even he knew. Ooh. He's like, okay. It is what it is, cousin. I'm glad it's not me, he says. Oh, oh it's lovely cricket. By heaven, that's a good ball Steve. from Stephen Dude, Harmison. You see him, he's in between swings, man. You just took one like that. Wow. You're thinking about preservation. Oh! oh! JL, baby! Oh, oh, no. oh. can of corn. Can of corn. Oh, JL. Hey, he caught it. He caught it. Obviously, he hit Campbell. Didn't. Obviously, <laughs> Campbell didn't watch this video. He didn't go to the Campbell School of Catching. No feet, pitched up. He's gone. Yeah, Six really down, 126. Yeah. The real key I mean, no, player is out. By 20 to 3 on the first afternoon of the series, the Australians had been bowled out for just 190 in 40 overs. Five wickets for Steve Harmison, two each for Andrew Flintoff and Simon Jones. But when it comes to bowling at Lords, few people have done so more effectively than Glenn McGrath, and he began his spell on the brink of an historic personal landmark. Oh, first ball! First ball! That's first ball. Golden duck, duck daddy! <laughs> Oh no, that's not the act like duck. That's a golden duck. A little bit of extra bounce. First ball off the tee. Glenn McGraw has 500. Wow, 500 oh, and history right there. Wow. That's another edge and gone. Got him. Beautiful. Can you imagine trying to defend like that? Like very low. Like McGraw no. is a monster. He is a monster. That that's that's awesome. for sure. That was a very good delivery as well. Oh. Wow, we even judge the spin right on that or the trajectory. Michael Vaughan was welcomed to the crease with some old fashioned Australian bonhomie. Ricky Ponting was objecting to the way England had repeatedly shied at the stumps in Australia's first innings. Vaughan wasn't anything. at the crease long enough to make a meaningful oh. response. Oh. Very best. Oh! Vaughan fought. Oh, there goes that man. He couldn't keep the out grass. the Holy cow. Tied in for three. And McGrath, I don't know that I've ever seen him bowl a better spell. Jeez. That is the worst defense oh, whenever so they good. jump in the air like that. Glenn McGrath is you know, so, on the West so Indies. good. Uh, not Campbell. Uh, um, they talk about hitting the top of off stuff. does that and it drives Something you crazy. learn as a child and you want to carry it through your whole career. This guy is still doing just it. the bail. It's just from the bail. And Ian Bell the is the victim. Oh, there's that sound, Gabe. Oh, oh I love that sound. Oh. Five for McGrath. And Flintoff also is making look like uh, the ball kept a little low. The fact is, it's gun barrel straight and doing enough shot. off the seam. True brilliance from Glenn he McGrath. He didn't know it. He was confused. England in ruins. 21 for five. Oh, wow. The last figures at this point, five for seven in eight overs. 21 for 5? At the height of the carnage, the new boy arrived. Kevin Peterson, or Graham Thorpe, was the big call for the selectors before the series began. Peterson always knew they'd made the right choice. A big hit. Ah! Is that Pollard out there? <laughs> oh, no. Get him out of here. He's bad oh, at hey, good night. Don't hold that, cousin. Oh. Peterson's buccaneering half-century helped repair some of the early damage, and England reached 155. Oh, look at but that. for all his brilliance with the bat, Jeez. Peterson was having trouble in the field. All out. He dropped wow. two in the first innings, and now with Australia 139 for three and leading by 174, he put down oh, Michael Clark. Oh, oh. The That's the highlight quite he was watching. He dropped the ashes, looking like Campbell there. Come on now. <laughs> oh, well, you, you know, two hands were just as good as one. <laughs> oh. oh my God! Did he catch it? 
Oh my goodness, four of them. Wow. Oh, 384. Look at his face. He looks almost as pissed as Jimmy Anderson England were was eventually the other set day. an improbable 420 to win. But for a while, Ricky Ponting's men found life unspeakably frustrating. <laughs> yes, the appeal! Oh, the appeal! That is a classic appeal right there! <laughs> I love it! Apparently no DRS I think that's my favorite sound, is the appeal. The no answer appeal. He's like, come on, this time you gotta do it. Give me the finger! <laughs> He's like, Ref, it's not TKR playing. It's not, it's them. That is really well bowled. Wow. And it was a sharp catch. <laughs> that was some of the most really emphatic quickly. appeal I've ever seen. Yeah, I that love was it. awesome. Oh, yes. Give me and the finger. There you go. The slider to end all sliders. Maybe stop looking around and say, no, we're going to call it out ourselves. Oh, that's out. Caught behind. Big neck. Trying to smash it through the offside field, a disappointed Clinton. The game was up for England. 1 5 6 for 5 on Saturday night, and though it rained for most of Sunday, the end came with unseemly haste. McGrath has picked up another wicket for each for McGrath and Warren. The Australians have won this opening it's test match. Right? And wow. an excellent performance from oh. the Australian it's team. Right That's the arriving scene, yeah? Nine okay. wickets for McGrath, six for Warren. The Ashes wow. of 2005 had already turned into the same old story. Oh, man. Woo. You know, I don't know where to begin. First of all, when they start like that, you feel like, and you're a storyteller yourself, okay? Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, don't know, my man Nick is a published author here. Um, you set up a story, and the way they set it up was, you know, you would, you think they're setting you up at the beginning to at the end come up, come through with this, this this huge victory. You know, they haven't won at Lords against Australia for 75 years. 75 years. Apparently now it's 76 in their own backyard. <laughs> No, no. 75.2. Oh, man. And I'm like, what? You know what I mean? Like, I was expecting England to pull it out because of the way that, that the, the narration kind of set it up. Yep. And it didn't happen. I was like, wow. Build, it's building the suspense even more. I Honestly, I have no idea. I have not Googled. Nothing's been spoiled for me. I'm assuming that England wins this, this Ashes. I'm assuming. Not just, you know, not just a, a draw, but they're going to win it outright. But you're right. I mean, it, start, it ran through the test. The series, right? I mean, right, just like right. heartbreak, heartbreak. Oh, there's some positivity. Right. And uh, you're right. I mean, it set it up like, okay, they're just going to they're gonna take it from them. They're going to own them. Not 239 runs? You got them 190 all out, and your answer is 155? <laughs> wow. <laughs> we got within 35 runs. That's okay, right? And I, they go 376? I will tell you that bowling was at... Uh, dude, it was just at a premium, man, on both sides. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? 155 all out, 190 all out. You saw some great bowling there on some name brands. You know what I mean? Ricky, Ricky, uh, um, Pontine, um, JL popped straight up in the air. Whatever happened to only swing at good balls? Remember now that he, <laughs> that he coaches, it's okay to leave some. You didn't leave that one, Ricky. You're going to practice that for two hours now. <laughs> Come on, JL. But, man. I, I think the, the the aggressive bowling man was the first thing that I was like, holy both on both sides, England. They, I mean, Ricky Ponting was leaking, bro. You know what I mean? The and you saw the welt on. Well, that's uh, who the, was the thing. Like they set fight. up with those bouncers and those catching them off guard and getting those legends out. You know, JL as a cricket guy was not a legend. He was a decent player. Obviously, we love him because of the test and because of his coaching abilities. Right. But still, I mean, he's he's not an easy wicket, right? right. He's not a walking no, no, wicket. No, he's a battler. He's in Australia. I mean, Australia was dominant in, from what I think, the 90s, the 2000s especially. Dominant. And this is like them in, in the middle, in the thick of that. My question is, what happened to these guys? I mean, maybe because we're just new to cricket and we've only seen a few uh, 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 matches. We've seen a few test matches. England versus Pakistan. Of course, England versus my West Indies. We've seen uh, uh, ODI, England versus... Uh, um, Oyerland. Oyerland, let me say it the correct way. Oyerland. Seen some T20 
but you see guys, I mean, other than Archer, who do you really see go out there with mean intentions like that, you know, and just throwing them nasty bouncers we up there, it, trying really. to take the dude's head off, and you're like, oh my god, my boy Gabriel on the West Indies, he's probably the best, but he's injured most of the time, you know what I mean? Either that or he's, he's got no balls. <laughs> oh yeah, or he's bowling no balls, but you know, <laughs> like, like that to me, man... I, 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 it's funny how everything is just perspective. And again, the narrative and the test, I hated Archer because he came out on that series and just when Australia was doing good, he lit Steve Smith up. Oh, but boy. that just shows you how that's part of the history. And after watching uh, um, Fire and Bob in Babylon, the documentary about the four horsemen, understanding how Australia was notorious for hitting people, and, and it was part of the game, and it was it was part of intimidating players and throwing those nasty Yorkers and bouncers up there. Now I love that part of the game, and you hardly ever see it. I mean, when's the last time you saw somebody wear one like that, man? Not just that, but to change the pace of the of the match. I haven't seen it all in the the two T20 matches I've seen so far. I haven't seen it all in the three ODI matches I've seen so far. Um, we've seen it sometimes with Archer, but not like you're. That's a great point. We don't really see it too much. But you can't tell me it doesn't make you think twice. You can't tell me it's not going to make you. You know, in baseball we call it tighten up your stance or choke up on the bat oh. or whatever. Be a little more protective, a little more conservative. This I like the uh, I like you know obviously it's got some music. It's like a mini documentary. They said it's a DVD. And so this guy's taking it in five parts or whatever. I like the way it's going. It's interesting how 2005, they're talking about the 10 cameras or whatever. This is just 15 years ago. How you can easily notice the the quality of video just from 2005. Way I mean, it's, it's way better than like 1990 or something like that. But with this, with that being said, this was still really, really cool for the, for the first test. I wish it would have given us the, the score for each one. Right. And maybe it wasn't that common in 2005 like right. it is right now where we get the score at all times. It gives you more context, but 21 for 5? My question is, when did DRS come into it? it, oh, it, it, it I, I think it's a recent development. Because you saw the appeals, and like you said, the ah! appeals were awesome. You know, they were emphatic about it. McGrath was, and Warren were like, literally, like, looking at the... Ah! yelling and they would not get it so either there was no drs and maybe this is why drs came into play because i mean a couple of those we're sitting here like how is that not a leg before wicked are you kidding me you know what i mean like oh there, but, you know there's some bowlers that are gonna appeal every time who are they saying Rashid appeals every single time <laughs> but you would think like you know you would think i understand it's, it's sportsmanship and it's gamemanship and you want to get that edge but you would think if the bowler's that emphatic like you would think at least the ref would be like all right let's or the umpire. Let's just at least check it out. Let's, let's just at least let's check at it least out. review it. And exactly. if we check it out and you're wrong, never again, Warren. And yeah. maybe they've done that. Who knows? <laughs> like you'll get, you know, exactly. Like you'll get blackballed, or or, or you'll get, you know, uh, um, a reputation as oh no, this guy just appears everything. You know what I mean? But you're right. If if, they, <laughs> if they're that emphatic about it, at least give it a look. And you know what? I think it was it was it in the game earlier today. Where I think it was the appeal that actually got the umpire to say, okay, yeah, it was it was a wicked to get that finger up because he looked like he was no, not even. And you heard who was it on? Um, wore me down. I'm, I'm trying to remember. It was one of the bowlers. Was it? No, it wasn't. Um, it, it wasn't Holder. It might have been Holder because he got two wickets today. But um, it was just funny though because he threw and he's like, ah. And then finally the umpire's like, oh. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, <laughs> it took that long to travel. Maybe the dude was old. He didn't look that old. Dude, some of the umpires, they love to draw it out. You know, in baseball, you have these crazy little strikeout, you know, motions or whatever. And this guy's just like, in his mind, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Oh, man, dude, when I was in high school, I, there was this one umpire. I hated his guts. I hate all umpires, honestly. You know, they some, know. Somebody in our video said umpire lives matter too, Gabe. But I hate all umpires. But day. you know how normally they're behind the plate and they'll just like strike or, you know, out or they'll give it, you know, out. This guy, no, he'd be like right at the plate, bro. You get caught. You, you. Yeah. I'm like, bro. Everyone's got to reinvent it. Right man. in your face, and you're like, you think everybody else heard you, bro? 
<laughs> I don't think my grandma in the back heard it. You're just so embarrassing. Oh, I hated his guts, man. I, I personally, and this is talking baseball now, I personally hate the emphatic calls. I understand most people probably like it and the whole drama thing, but it's just like, it's like the umpires are sitting there so bored. Finally, I get to do something. I'm going to spotlight myself on TV and just go crazy with it. It's like, you know, simple this would have just done fine. Yeah, you're, you're sure. You know, they always say about the it, unwritten rules in baseball, right? About not showing up umpires when it's a bad strike. How about umpires not showing you up behind the plate? You know what I mean? Just like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, okay, it's a strike. I get it. Not to, no, no, no. Sometimes you go ah, and I'm like, that's not strike. And then like the guys on the field, like they take three or four steps and they do the whole motion. It's like. You can just do it with your two feet planted and just say out. It, just out, dude. It used to drive me crazy. And it's funny because you'll see him go all crazy, go out, and they just turn around and walk. Turn around away and calmly. walk away <laughs> calmly. <laughs> oh man, we are way off track. <laughs> Thanks for checking us out. Remember, if you want us to do the second match for next week's Cricket Tuesday, then let us know in the comment section. We want to adhere to your request. Thanks so much, Azriel, and everyone else that's requested this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Ah! I knew it was coming. <laughs>